Let's look carefully at the process for submitting your self-evaluation and action plan. The document that you will be working on is available here, but it is also available inside the assignment. So let's look in the assignment here. So just click this link, takes you inside the assignment. As you can see, there's a submit button up here. But before we get to that, what we need to do is read these instructions these are the same as before. The first part is due Friday, week one, and here is that document again. So I'm going to right click and save this document uh, in a folder where I can find it. And I'm going to just change the name for me. Save that document. Okay, so, and then I'm going to look for that document and open it using Acrobat. Okay, um, so this is the document and the document has two sections, section one here and section two. Um, and uh, there are some instructions here. For example, section two, you need to complete this by week three. Section three, your teacher will complete in week four and return in week five. What you need to do um, early is section one. You need to complete that in week one. Give it to your teacher by Thursday or Friday. So you need to do this fairly quickly. So here you enter your first name and your family name, uh, English name if necessary, your student number here. Um, you select your class. My class is green nationality, their sponsor if applicable. Um, you can enter your current IELTS scores here and this is the important part of the self-evaluation and action plan. Your strengths and weaknesses and the actions that you promise to take. And you need to, for example here in listening, say okay, um, I have uh, trouble understanding native speakers, for example. So if that is your weakness, then you need an action plan to address that weakness. So let's see, native speakers. Okay, so what I'll do is um, I will listen um, to conversations on public transport. For example, uh, and also uh, listen and read to abc.net.au AM um, news program. Yeah, and uh, and you do this for listening, for reading, um, for speaking, and for writing listing your strengths and weaknesses and the actions you will take. Obviously focusing more on weaknesses than strengths. Okay, um, what happens later is uh, after a few weeks, we look at these again and we look at the actions that I have taken and these, these actions here for listening should be what you promise to do here uh, in section one. So this information here should be the same as here. But maybe you found that some things work better than others and you changed your plan a little bit. What is important is that you took some action and you also measure the progress that you have made. And at that point the teacher will comment as well to give you a bit of advice and feedback on that. And so in week three we do this in all of the skills again. And hopefully by filling out this form and going through this process, you will improve more uh, through this course. Okay, so when you have completed section one, you save the document. Okay, and then what you do is you attach that file there. And as you can see, that's attached there. You don't have to do anything else. And then you press submit here and that will be sent to your teacher. So that 
is needed to that is necessary to be done by Friday week one. That is just section one. Your strengths and weaknesses and the actions you will take. Okay, and obviously in the later weeks, uh, this document will go backwards and forwards again. So that is the self-evaluation and action plan.